Oh, 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 oh. Do you know what would be really handy? A way for me to hold my mobile phone so I can watch my YouTube Shorts videos. Oh. Oh, I know. Like this one over here. Yes, this is my phone holder. And as you can see, it's a TIE fighter. But it doesn't have to be a TIE fighter. It can be practically anything you like. Yes. So in this video, we're going to make one of these phone holders which you could make for your friends and family. And considering Christmas is just around the corner, what a great gift idea that is too. Oh, oh my God. I reckon he needs locking up. Oh, what's that? It's a bit of wood. Oh, this is interesting. So he's cutting a bit of wood. And that happens to be a piece of oak. Yeah, turn that off. It looks dangerous. Chop your fingers off, you know. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. Clean it up a little bit using the thicknesser. This is an old Multico thicknesser. Over to the DeWalt radial arm saw, and we're going to cut them to length. But you could use a hand saw, you know. You don't have to use machines. Simple woodworking, really. So I'm making two there, just to put one to one side, because the bit of wood was big enough. And this is going to be the base of my phone holder. And the phone needs a slot, you see, to sit in. So that's what that is, yeah, it's a slot. It's just been made a little old router. And that's a Trend T4 router. Sand out on the old little uh, fluffy bits. Because my bits are a bit blunt, you see. Yeah, dare I admit it. So this is a little palm router, cheap old Chinese palm router. Clean up all the corners, take the arises off, make them all round so you don't get sharp edges. You don't want sharp edges, you know. They can cut you. Oh, you want that? Bit of sand in here and there. And this is my palm sand. Yes, it's a, well, an angle grinder sanding disc attached to a wooden handle. Over to the Lazy Susan and spin it around. You could use a bit of lacquer to put a bit of finish on it, or you could use some linseed oil. Oh, while you're here, would you be most kind and boot the old like button? It helps the channel, you know. So place a bit of tape down first, and I'm cutting out the pattern. And what's the tape for? Oh, I wonder. It makes it easier later, you see, because the glue residue well, it doesn't end up on the wood. You just peel off the pattern. Tape and all. No glue left. No. So over to the old fret saw. And we're going to cut it out on the fret saw. So we're cutting out all the little nooks and crannies. Yeah, did the parcel run, you see, in 13 clicks or was it 12? I can't remember. But you don't have to do Star Wars. It could be a cat or a dog or somebody doing a karate chop. It could be anything, you know. Just to support the phone. Whatever you're into, really. But in this case, it's the Millennium Falcon. Because I'm a bit of a Star Wars nut, you see. Oh, there you go. So now we have to fix that to the wooden block. Now, normally what I do, if I make these for a customer, like that TIE Fighter one, I'll use a wooden dowel. But because I want to just use that for the purpose of this video, we're going to just screw it to the base with a 4 inch 12 screw. Obviously not. No. That would be a bit big outward, wouldn't it? Yeah. So there we have it. It's all cut out and it's looking trim. It's amazing what you can do with an old fritz or scroll saw or thingy me jiggies, isn't it? So we were given a bit of black lacquer. And later on, we'll give it some more clear lacquer to give it a bit of a better finish. And I do like to give it a little bit of sanding relief as well to show the little edges of the oak and what have you show through. A bit more retro. That's my engineer square. And I'm using it to find the centre of the base. So the Millennium Falcon's not on the wonk, you know. So here we are. We're going to screw it to the base. And no, it's not a 4 inch 12 screw. It's a little older number 8. Yeah. Well, it's more than number 8, actually. A 3.5mm. Ain't that cool? Oh, not bad for a couple of scraps of old wood and a little bit of creativity. We've got a phone holder. Not any old phone holder. A phone holder that nobody else has probably got. It's a Star Wars, you see. 
Yeah, great gift idea. A present for Christmas, if you like. Or a birthday, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's time for me to go. So I'm going to say ta-ta, you know. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And maybe that little bell icon. So, ta-ta!